136 and stable. That's Meg. We decided to go for a random little hike while waiting for Toyota to change the oxygen sensor related to the theft of our catalytic converter in our 2010 Toyota Prius. Mm -hmm. And the aftermarket sensor we installed from Amazon either doesn't work or the problem exceeds the scope of changing the oxygen sensor, but we'll figure that out. This mycelium, they almost look like moth wings and they're so profuse. Meg sees these mushroom fruiting bodies of some kind of mushroom here. They're pretty. She says they're pretty. Oh, there's multiple. That's Meg. Here we see more mushroom growing in the side of a log Mycelium. of a tree that was felled. Mycelium. These are the fruiting bodies. The mycelium is the stuff inside the different kinds here. Look at this fungi here. Anybody know what kind we've got? right here near this stagnant pond where mold spores and fungi spores tend to proliferate. There's a frog and I didn't see it until we came from the water. Sorry buddy. You think they're a couple? That's cute. I'd give them a slug. It, it inflates in their stomach and it can kill them. So you give them things like frozen peas. Slugs. Or frozen. Because they, they, they soften and then they can nibble on them. They like slugs. You know that because I told you that, Aaron. Thankfully. Oh, we made it all the way down here to the Robinswood Park Sports Complex where there's AstroTurf.
synthetic brass that requires special care. And over here is the baseball diamond at Robinswood Park, which you can read on the sign there through the fence. I have recycling and trash. And any moment now, There she is. Most people don't really want to be filmed coming out of the toilet, Aaron. That's Meg practicing hygiene by washing her hands. Good hygiene. That stops the spread of microbes, bad bugs, and viral particles that cause COVID-19. Shake it like you mean it. Maybe three feet wide. Hmm. A lot bigger. Gonna have to three feet wide. He's barking for a nest. Here she. I see a bee. Look at this. There's a bumblebee. Hi, buddy. You're beautiful. God bless your hive. Wherever you will be taking your pollen to. There's a bumblebee. Beautiful. We can. Meg really likes these little ground cover flowers, or whatever these are. If you know, go ahead and leave a comment. Here's the sun. Look at the size of them to my hand. They have sort of a waxy leaf structure. Next to this exceptionally well-made concrete standing seam metal roof structure bathroom, we have this really cool water bottle filling station. Now, Meg or I, ni neither Meg nor I have actually ever seen one. And we see here on these bolts, notice how this has galvanic corrosion and it's at the low point. So if water flows down here, it'll corrode faster where these ones up here aren't as bad. It's a well-made, all metallic commercial unit though. You can see the polished steel filler nozzle is very clean. And that's the drain. And here's the actuation button. Feeding the crow. Yeah. I gave them both a piece. What is it? From the cookie from the Toyota dealership. My fist of champions right here. It's the first thing I've eaten all day. I had three pieces of commercial candy. Shame on me. But I took my metformin and other vitamin supplements, so I'm okay. I'm sure this walk will help burn off the excess blood glucose so I don't have a high blood sugar while I'm driving the children's home from the school to their homes. Oh look, there's about three dozen trash cans everywhere. This sign here tells you that you're on the city of Bellevue trail system and they even encourage you that your dog must be on a leash and you have to collect its poop and put it in an appropriate receptacle. See, just like that. This is a spontaneous hike through the forest on a cloudy Tuesday afternoon. Huh? Yes. Here, these are called trees. These are evergreen trees. Notice they don't have leaves, they have pines. Pine needle? They're called modified leaves. They're modified leaves. Meg learned that in her botany class. And we're in the Pacific Northwest here. I got an A plus in my botany class. And a lot of pine grows around here. 
and it drops these needles. All these little brown needles on the ground are from the pine trees and they're saprophytic. They contain oils and resins that prevent other tree species from competing for the same land. So trees use chemical defense mechanisms to compete, kind of like countries. The root network will send out chemicals too. Mm -hmm. The roots can do. I don't do know it. if that's true for pines. I know the leaves, like you say, the, the needles, like you said. See, there's the sky. It's just cloudy. <laughs> Wants to show you how big the fence is because she's five foot three. And look how tall that fence is. So someone dropped their wad in closing this forest here. And we don't know. Maybe the city of Bellevue. And oddly, it perplexingly splits and runs square into the middle of the forest. Here's an example of a tree growing into the fence. Meg here spotted these beautiful flowers here. Meg really likes this painting and says it reminds her of California. Well, I don't like the state of California or the politics therein or the taxes. Amen. But I think the state itself is beautiful. Exactly. There's a difference. The advertising. We're at the Cypress Coffee Company in Eastgate in Bellevue, Washington. You should stop by here when you get a chance. Okay, the breakfast sandwiches were delicious. Very, very good. Very tasty. And then here's a dirty chai, which is chai mixed with coffee. And Espresso. this is a, a clean chai, which Meg asked for. Yes, and they, they thought it was funny that I called it a clean chai. We were thinking about including Bible verses in Meg's future art productions. 